Hello everyone, this is part 1 of my Discord bots guide, and in today's video we're going to be going over the Sapphire bot, all of its best features that it offers, and how to set them up in your Discord server. So the first step before we can start using the Sapphire bot, we have to go to its affiliated website, and in this case it'll be saf.xyz or sapph.xyz, and I'll have this linked in the description below so you could follow along. And as always, this video will be blocked up into different sections so you could see the highlights of what the bot offers and how to set them up. So the first step will go to the website here. It'll open up and this will be the main page of the website. Then all you're going to do is click add to Discord. Make sure you're signed in to Discord on the browser app. Select the server that you'd like to add it to and then click continue. Choose its permissions and then click authorize. Once you do that, verify yourself here and it'll be invited to the server. So you can see that it joined my server here. And now that we're on here, it'll automatically log you in, but you can always log in uh, to edit the dashboard of the bot. And we'll be going over the best features that this bot offers and how to set them up. So the first step, we'll go over the general settings of the Discord bot and just the simple things to set up and go over before you start using the rest of the bot's modules. So the first tab here is general settings tab. And as you can see, there's a few things here. There is the duration language. So this is the language of duration time and the date format. So you could change this, change the date format if you'd like. The error log. So it'll tell you anything that goes wrong here with the bot. And the next is the permissions. So it shows the manager roles. The roles added here are able to fully manage Sapphire. So you could always check back to this little section to see uh, which roles can manage the Sapphire bot. There's also an advanced permissions tab uh, where you could add roles here. Let's just add, a different, add any role here and you can uh, edit what they can do uh, inside of the dashboard for the Sapphire bot. Then lastly, we have the backups tab where you can view the, the last times that you've used the bot and you can click on any of these recent times to get the conf configuration setup that you had on the dashboard uh, to be restored. Then the next main tab is the commands tab and on this tab you could view all of the current default commands by clicking on the default commands button. You could also create custom commands for yourself. You could edit the prefix of the bot and you could choose which messages are sent. So this is really customizable. Most bots don't actually offer this. Uh, so this is a really cool feature for this bot and I do highly recommend this bot to be used in your Discord server as it is very customizable for a free cost of course. And as you can see, just for example, avatar info sent when executing avatar info command. Uh, we could click the edit button here. We could see what is sent uh, when the person uses this command. And you could always click the ed edit button on the top and literally edit the code uh, to change what is actually sent in the server. And you could edit the these embeds here as well. Uh, so it could be completely customizable. The last section here is custom branding. This is basically just the paid version, uh, but this is a cool option. If you do really like this bot, you could choose a paid version because you do get to customize the name, avatar, and status of the bot, it is an option and it does, and it is pretty cool as it gives you customizable uh, name and avatar. So the first major section is the auto moderation section. And basically it is setup of auto moderation to of course prevent spam, sending invites or other types of messages using Sapphire's advanced auto moderation. Uh, so all you have to do is click on this bottom one here. We could probably ignore the AI moderation. It probably works, uh, but it is a, in beta. And also there's the Discord's built-in auto moderation, which I don't fully trust. It's not the best uh, auto, moderation, auto moderation that uh, Discord offers. Uh, so it is easier to use a bot that does it for you. And this is a great bot to do it. So if you want to set up auto moderation for yourself, make sure that this is enabled right here and then click on the advanced auto moderation so you could change uh, exactly how um, it moderates the server. Uh, so for example, the first thing here is spam. You could quickly add a condition, choose a condition uh, and you can see so is there more or exactly three messages in the last five seconds? You could change this to whatever like, like was there more than 10 messages in the last five seconds, for example, which is definitely spam. If they're not spamming, like that would be crazy. So that's like, that's like a definite spam moment there. Uh, so you could add that right there. So you could add that, so you could choose an action to do. So you could just either delete the messages. Um, you could set a role, remove a role. You know, you could report them, you could DM them. Could be whatever you like but let's just say you want to delete all the messages they just spammed uh, and then you could choose the delay of deletion and you can choose if you'd like to delete all the messages that were ever sent from them or delete the overflow messages like or the amount of messages that caused this action to happen uh, and then you can choose that 
then it should be all set up for your server and then I have to do is ch click save changes in the bottom right and it should be all saved and good to go so then if anyone sends 10 messages in 5 seconds it should be automatically deleted by the bot. This is just an example of how to use the auto moderation system. As you can see they offer different uh, varieties such as mentions so take actions when a user mentions too many users in a short time. Attachments take actions when user sends too many attachments in a short time. Emojis take actions when a user sends too many emojis. Uh, message lines take action when a user sends too many message lines so essentially bulk messages uh, and then capitalization so if someone's spamming in all caps uh, and then there is words so take an action when users messages include certain words so you could add any word that you'd like to ban on your server such as swears for example then the next is links here uh, so you could ban certain links in your server depending if you know if you don't want that link to be sent in your server for whatever reason uh, and the next is invites so this could be you know if someone tries to advertise their server you can make it auto delete uh, and then there's polls so this is if they create a discord poll you could add some conditions here uh, and then there's warrants and there's also special channels so it's limited uh, certain channels to specific message content the next main tab is the moderation tab and this is where you could edit all the different moderation that the, the bot does not including auto moderation uh, so the first one here is you could view all the cases of kicks and bans. So this is basically an audit log uh, for the bot. And then you could also set up a user report section. So if someone reports someone in the server, it'll pop up here. This is better if you have a bigger server, but you can set this up if you'd like. Uh, and the next is the punish settings. Uh, so you could edit the ban, kick, mute, and warn settings here. So you could edit any of these commands here just by clicking on any of them. Uh, for example, for the ban command here, you could add a reason that the user has to uh, input in order to uh, send in a ban and on the bottom here you could actually click force reason and it says that if enabled it won't be possible to ban users without a reason so you have to fill out the reason form uh, so honestly turning that on is not a horrible idea because then people that are banning users they have to give a reason so then in the future if you're looking at the audit log for this bot you could see why users were banned in the past and maybe you could even improve on whatever they were banned for by adding more moderation features you could also add actions on punish here so you could there's only one option for this one but you could delete uh, the messages that the user sent um, once you ban them and you could choose how many days back uh, you want to delete the messages I'm assuming that's how that works uh, so you could probably just you know hold it down and just delete the last you know 60 days of messages or whatever or last couple of years depending on how long they were in the server uh, and then yeah so you could edit that you could edit the unban um, command here, you know, same for kick, same for mute, Pre pretty much all the same uh, sort of setup here where you could uh, put a reason uh, and a duration and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then uh, you could also have this reply to message to punish. Uh, so if enabled, replying to a user's message with a punish command like ban or mute will punish them. So essentially all it is is if you're in your Discord server, let's say, let's just say for example here, and you instead of just typing in the chat, and you're banning a user instead of actually putting in all the information and stuff you could literally just right click reply reply to the user's message and then type the ban command oops the ban command uh, and then it will simply just ban the user once you send it i'll say i don't want to ban myself from the server it might not let me it might, it might not work anyways but i don't want to try that um so uh that that is what that option does uh, last three things here confirm punishment with or when recent case exists so it confirms when it created within the last however many minutes you could set or you know you could change it to hours or days so basically it says if i'm enabled uh, sapphire will ask for confirmation before uh, punishing a user if they have an open case that was recently created so if the user uh, created a case uh, to appeal for their punishment or whatever so it'll basically ask for confirmation uh, if they recently have a cr uh, case created uh, so it doesn't automatically ban them if someone else if another moderator uh, already banned them for that uh, and so then you're not just spam banning them if they are trying to appeal then there's the log expired punishments so essentially it's just like old punishments that you sent before I'm assuming uh, that it's just still logged um, in the dashboard here and then cache deleted messages so when enabled stores the contents of all deleted messages for 30 minutes to provide a better message history uh, when punishing users this one you don't really need on but if you really want to you can turn it on for more for more in-depth uh, purposes but honestly you can keep it off the next major section is the join rules section 
This is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just basically setting roles that people get when they join the server. Uh, so you could either, uh, so you could basically just add any roles here. I don't have any roles created, but you could add any roles that are created in a server, such as let's just say the member role or the verified role or whatever you like. Uh, and then they also have the option here to wait for users to pass uh, rule screening. So this is essentially the rule screening sec um, thing that opens up when you first join the server. Uh, it basically makes it so the user has to actually finish that, finish the screening so they're actually in the server before they're actually given uh, the rules upon joining. Uh, and as you can see, there's also a couple extra tabs here, such as user specific roles. Uh, you can sign additional join roles for specific users, depending on the users. But these are very limited, scenario type things, so you don't have to use those, but they are options um, if you'd like. Uh, the next major tab here is the reaction rules tab, so you could set up reaction rules spots. So, so all you're going to do is click add message here. We're going to create a new message unless you already have a message sent in the server that you want people to react on. Uh, but we're just going to do create new message here. Uh, we're going to choose the channel to set it in. Obviously, you'll have your own self rules channel uh, and then you could do this. So new uh, reaction rules. So then you could add any uh, roles that you'd like people to react to. So you could choose the emoji that, that you would like to use. You could choose the role that you would like to give. And then we could do the same. Let's just add a couple more here. Um, three, and let's do one more for two. Okay. And then you could edit the message uh, that the thing looks like. So this is the most fun part of this section, as it is in a nice embedded section here. You could add an embed if you'd like. You could remove an embed. Uh, you could add an action row here, so you could add some buttons. You could put the author name here. So let's just do uh, exceed. Do a title. So let's just do... Um, I don't know which number because I just have these <laughs> these roles name number. You can choose a description, so let's just do choose uh, a number. This doesn't really make sense for self roles, but it's just an example. Uh, and then you could also so this is here react to this message message to assign your self roles. Uh, so you could choose where this is on the list here. Uh, you could add more fields. Um, you could edit the fields here. So let's just say uh, the first one you could put uh, I don't know an emoji here, whatever the emoji is. You know you could add the the name here so this will be four I don't know and this will be three this will be two this will be one uh, and you could add an image if you'd like uh, you could basically um, input any image you like here uh, and then you could also choose a footer text here so whatever you'd like here and then once you set this all up it'll look a lot better than mine uh, but essentially you just click save changes here there we go and it'll post in the Discord server. So as you can see, it posted here. This doesn't make sense at all the way I set it up. Uh, but as you can see, it automatically set up this little section here. So it says like this emoji equals this role. And this emoji equals this role, etc, etc. And then if you choose any of these reactions here, it will give you the role. So I selected this one here, which is the role at four. And if you click on my profile, you can see that I have the four role. So the second last major uh, section here is welcome messages. Uh, so you can set up join, leave, boost messages, and rule assignment messages. Uh, so all you're going to do is go to your server. Let's just create a welcome channel here. Um, of course, you'll set up the permissions and all that, but this is just a showcase of the bot's uh, features. Uh, so we're going to go back here. So we're going to set up the join messages here. We're going to click new message. We're going to choose the welcome channel, continue stylizing message, uh, and then you can preview what it looks like, but you could go to the edit section here. You could add what you feel like. So right now it just says welcome, it mentions it's a user two and then it mentions the server name and you can add whatever you'd like here so just add some random text here boom there we go and it will save it'll look like that on the preview right whatever changes that you make uh, and then it is added so then if anyone joins the server uh this message will send and you could actually add multiple messages up to three uh so you can send up three messages if you'd like you also add images uh if people when people join the server uh, and then same for like leave messages you could add a new leave message choose the channel you could leave it default and save changes and then same for the rest such as boost messages you could add a boost message here um, and then click save changes and that's pretty much it so that's setting up welcome messages it's pretty straightforward comp compared to um, other uh, welcome message bots uh, but it does work well and it since it's with all this other stuff that this bot offers this bot is an amazing bot for your discord server as it is multi-purpose of course uh, but of course it does all these different things uh, so it will help your moderation your roles your reaction rules it does everything for you so you don't have to have like 10 different bots in your server just to do one thing so the last tab here before we end this video is the logging section so this is how to set up logs with this bot as you can see that there's a bunch of different categories here 
uh, which you go through and which and where you could choose um, what is moderated and what not. And essentially, you could go to, through any of these very vigorously if you'd like and go to the specific thing that you'd like to be logged, such as channel create, and then set the channel to be the channel that it would be logged in uh, when someone creates a channel or whatever the specific thing is. Uh, so let's just say we have a log channel, we're just going to use general chat, but if we had a log channel, we would set it there. Uh, and then we could set that, we could save changes, and then you can set it for all the other things that you like, such as channel deletes, you know, you could go into um, any of these things, such as roles, like role created, uh, role deleted, etc, etc. There's a lot of different uh, in-depth things you could go here, but if you don't want to go through this meticulously, all you have to do is click the mass edit button on the top here, and, and then select whichever overall categories that you'd like, and it shows how many uh, types are actually in these. So you can see there's there is a lot of different things you could add. So let's just select all of them here, uh, and let's see how many uh, there actually are that you could edit. Um, come on, okay. So as you can see, if you did go through this very vigorously and meticulously, there'd be 162 different things that you'd have to go through. Uh, so by doing mass edit, you could edit them all at once and set the logs channel for all of them at once. Boom, there you go. And of course, this will be your logs channel and your general channel. And then just click save changes and that is literally it. It is set up in your Discord server. So we could actually test it out. We, we set it to the general chat here. Uh, so I think if I delete a message, that should work, hopefully. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not delete messages. Um, let's create a role. Uh, let's just create a role here. Does that work? There we go. Okay. Yes, it does work. Okay. So yeah, you can see it shows that a role was created. It also says a webhook was created. I uh, guess it created a webhook for logging. Yeah, it did. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know that. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, so once you do that in here, it is all set up for your Discord server and all good to go. It's actually very easy to set up this. So of course, for my Discord bots guide, I will have to give this bot a final rating uh, on my own little rating scale that I've created. And I rate this bot a solid 10 out of 10. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this bot, honestly. It is very clean. Um, nothing that I really want to this bot to actually have like it has everything that you could ever need the ui is very simple on the website very user friendly it it i mean if you were actually going through this very rigorously and you know going through every single little tab here and customizing everything sure it would probably take a good like four hours or something or like at least a couple hours to actually go through this and set it up fully for your server uh, but you could essentially use this bot for like I'd say 75% of the bot related things that you need for your server. I mean, really the only thing that this bot is kind of missing is like maybe a ticket system or something like that. But I mean, that's only a few things. I mean, there's not much, right, that a bot can can really offer, right? There's not much uh, that it could be missing either. Either way though, this bot is amazing. Hopefully you guys use this bot. Remember my link will be in the description below so you can add this bot to your server. And please leave a comment down below uh, which bots you would like me to do next you could literally comment any bot uh, and I might do it uh, For the next part because this new series uh, if you haven't noticed this is a brand new series This is part one of it. This new series is my discord bots guide or essentially it's gonna be a uh, Guide on every bot not every bot obviously there's millions of bots on discord But it's gonna be a guide on all the best bots on discord that I could find and you know, eventually I might do some bots uh, to showcase uh, that the other users have made. Uh, of course, you know, that is, you know, for the future, but we'll see what happens. Either way, though, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoy this new series that I'm created. And of course, please join my Discord server. It'll be in the description below. Uh, we're currently on our way to 150 members. And of course, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers on this YouTube channel, as that is one of my first main goals for this channel, uh, to basically broaden our channel and reach more people and uh, to help them uh, with my Discord tutorial. Anyways, though, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I hope you all have a great rest of your night. Bye-bye.